Hello, and welcome to this video demonstrating how to remove a VCN, or Virtual Cloud Network, from Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. In this video, we will look at how to remove a VCN using the Web Console. On the Web Console, we are looking at the dashboard. To get a list of VCNs, we click on the Navigation menu, then Networking, and Virtual Cloud Networks. We see two VCNs listed in our compartment, MOR Demo VCN 1 and MOR Demo VCN 2. There are a number of ways we can remove or terminate a VCN, so we will use these two VCNs to explore a couple of the scenarios. So first we will terminate MOR Demo VCN 2. Clicking on its name, we are shown its details. We can see the compartment it was built in and the CIDR block range used for assigning IP addresses. You can find out more information about virtual cloud networks in the documentation at this link. We see the terminate button, but before we use this, let's look more at this VCN. Under the resources section, subnets is already selected, and we are shown a list of two subnets created under this VCN. MOR Demo VCN sub 2 and MOR Demo VCN 2 sub 1. Also under resources, we can see other networking components associated with this VCN, such as root tables, security lists, etc. In order to terminate a VCN, any configured components must be removed or deassociated from the VCM first. Let's see how this is done. To remove the subnet MOR Demo VCN sub 2, we click on the three dots menu beside it and then take the Terminate option. A confirmation dialog is shown and we click Terminate. The subnet is now removed from the list and we could do this for the other subnet if we wished. But let's try to remove the VCN now. Scrolling up, we click on the Terminate button. A Terminate Virtual Cloud Network dialog opens. We're presented with a list of resources which will be checked to see if any are associated with this VCN. There is a help link in the dialog which will provide more information about the process of terminating the VCN. After a few minutes, the information loading completes and the dialog now has a list of components that will need to be terminated in order to terminate the VCN. We are shown a warning that anything terminated cannot be restored afterwards. We click on Terminate All to continue. The dialog updates to confirm the VCN is terminated, and we click Close. We are returned to the VCN details and would need to refresh the screen to see it's gone. Instead, we use the breadcrumbs menu and select Virtual Cloud Networks. Our list now only shows MOR Demo VCN 1. The VCN is a very important component of your Oracle Cloud infrastructure as other provisioned elements are dependent on it. For example, compute instances, load balancers, mount targets, network security groups. Compute instances cannot be created without first having a virtual cloud network in place. Similarly, terminating a VCN requires first deassociating any dependencies other components have on it. Our second VCN is being used by a compute instance, so let's see what steps are needed to terminate this VCN. We click on the navigation menu, then compute, then instances. We see an instance named MOR Demo Inst 100. Clicking the instance name, the details confirm that this instance is associated with the VCN MOR Demo VCN 1 and is using subnet MOR Demo VCN 1 sub 1, a component of that VCN. We return to our VCN using the navigation menu, networking, and virtual cloud networks. We click on our VCM name to view its details. For the subnet, clicking on the three dots menu, then terminate we get our confirmation dialog again. Clicking Terminate, we get a warning that this is not possible because the subnet is associated with the VNIC of an instance. If we try to terminate, we'll be presented with this warning again. We click Cancel. We must remove this association, so we navigate back to our instance with the menu, Compute, and Instances. We click on the instance name. Stopping the instance is not sufficient. To remove the association with the subnet, we must terminate the instance. We click on the More Actions drop-down and select Terminate. In the confirmation dialog, we click Terminate Instance. The status of the instance changes to Terminating and after some minutes, Terminated. The instance has been removed and so its association with the subnet. We navigate with the menu, Networking and Virtual Cloud Networks back to our list of VCNs. Clicking on the three dots menu, we select Terminate. This time we do not get the error message and the dialog creates the component list of items to be removed. When the list is complete, we select Terminate All and are shown the virtual cloud network termination is complete. 
Oracle provides an extensive number of resources which you can use to learn more about this subject than others. Use the links here to find more content about this video, as well as Oracle Linux and using Linux and Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.